sum a to b cos x dx as the limit of sum. Now again we have to find out nh. nh is same b minus a here limit is same. So function our function is what limit h tends to 0 h summation r going from 1 to n or 0 to n minus 1 cos of x at the x a plus r h very good a plus r h so now we have to use the our limit as some summation formula so what we have to we have to multiply with this cos a plus r h sin theta term of sin so see here if we multiply a limit h tends to 0 h summation r going from 1 to n 2 sin of h by 2 cos a plus r h and there also sin of 2 h by 2 see sin h by 2 multiply and divide both now this 2 sin a cos b this we can now we can use see sin a plus b minus of sin a minus b gives 2 cos a sin b you all know sin a plus b sin a cos b plus cos a sin b sin a minus b sin a cos b minus cos a sin b when you subtract then you will get this term 2 cos a sin b cos a sin b clear so now we have to use this and directly replace here what is our a in this case b is h by 2 a is a plus rh this is capital a this is capital b so 2 2 cos a sin b now replace with these two terms so our terms becomes from here limit h tends to 0 at summation r going from 1 to n this gives sin a plus b sin a plus r h plus h by 2 minus sin a minus b sin a plus r h minus h by 2 divide by divide by same 2 sin h by 2 divide by 2 sin of h by 2 clear now this is a now we have to open it this is r is substitute r equal to 1 then r equal to 2 then r equal to 3 r equal to 4 up to r equal to n so limit h tends to 0 h denominator is always 2 sin h by 2 we cannot operate anything here first term when r is equal to 1 r is equal to 1 means a plus h plus h by 2 h plus h by 2 is 3 h by 2 so first term gives sin a plus 3 h by 2 minus a plus h by 2 minus h h minus h by 2 is sin a plus minus plus h by 2 where r sub is equal to 1 clear plus when r is equal to 2 see here this space is very smaller otherwise i can show you you just you can write and you can solve when r is equal to 2 a plus 2 h plus h by 2 means a plus 2 plus 5 h by 2 this term gives a plus 5 h by 2 and this term gives 2 h minus 3 h by 2 so a plus 3 h by 2 clear 
So see here a plus 3 h by 2 in minus, here a plus 3 h by 2 in plus. Similarly, in next term when r is equal to 3 you substitute, you will get a plus 5 h by 2 in minus. So your terms will be cancelled out. When you substitute last, dot 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 dot, we have to continue here. And then sign a plus nh plus h by 2 and this term minus sine a plus nh minus of h by 2. Clear? So this is our first term, second term, third term, fourth term up to last term divide by 2 sin h by 2. So when you substitute at least two three terms you will see this term cut with uh, uh, this second part of this then all terms are cutting out only two terms are remaining remaining term is this and this last term first part of the last term and second part of first term only these two are remaining so our integral is looking like limit h tends to 0 h sin this term a plus nh plus h by 2 minus sin a plus h by 2 divide by sin 2 sin 2 sin h by 2 Clear? Now, again, this edge, this edge, if we put this edge here, h by 2 upon h by 2, clear? So, this, this, divide here, divide h by 2 and one more h by 2 is remaining here. Okay, this 2 also, 2 also remove, h by 2, this h and this 2 write like this. So, if everybody knows sin x by x is given 1. So, this terms terminate as 1. Next, nh is b minus a. So, we have to replace nh equal to b minus a. So, this terms, now what is remaining? Limit h tends to 0 sin a plus nh is b minus a plus h by 2 minus sin a plus h by 2 denominator already 1 so this a and a cancel sin b plus h by 2 minus sin a plus h by 2. Now you have to apply the limit h tends to 0. When h tends to 0, this term terminate, this term. Means our answer give by sin b minus sin a. So your complete solution of integral a to b cos x dx is equal to sin of b minus sin of we can solve this integral as the limit of sum. You will get always the same solution whatever you solve with the definite integral or either you solve it as a limit, definite integral as the limit of sum. So there are two examples. In trigonometrical, you more concerned about the uh, summation of series. So you have to use sin a plus b, sin a minus b, cos a plus b, cos a minus b formula and then you Simplify it, open it, then substitute r is equal to 1, 2, 3. You saw all the terms will be cancelled out, only first and last some terms are remaining. Then you can apply the limit, you will be get the solution. Thank you very much. For